shit, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's been a while since I tear forward somebody, and Magneto's looking real good at the moment. Uh, and let me explain why we're going to tier four Magneto before we get into it. One, he's best in slot for ABX, ABL right now, uh, which is huge. And hopefully, hopefully, he does not get replaced anytime soon. It's unlikely if you take a look at the current crop of Blast Mutant Villains. Very, very unlikely. Um, but it's also unlikely because he got a seasonal uniform. And it seems like, it seems like the devs want those seasonal uniforms that are meta to stay meta. Storm, Magneto, etc. Also, for my personal preference, he has a really cool tier 4. That's his tier 3. Okay, good job, Alex. Yep, this is what happens when I start recording videos at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> his tier 3 is cool too. He throws a subway. We don't really have those in Toronto if you've been watching the news lately. Anyways... His tier four is really cool. Trust me. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. See? Magnetism. It's just, it looks really faint in the skill preview. But yeah, it looks really cool in reality. I also really like tier four abilities that deal damage. They're really cool. I've been eyeing Blue Dragon for a long time, but Magneto has a, a lot of, you know, a function, well, value beyond function, I would say, that Blue Dragon doesn't have. Now, originally when I was going to make this video, and we will get to tier 4 Magneto in a second, but I just want to go out here and say, I was strongly considering tier 4 Spider-Man. And I really wanted to tier 4 Spider-Man for the new game mode. That's not the new game mode. I really wanted to tier 4 Spider-Man for the new game mode. Man, I'm, I'm losing, eh? Jeez. I don't, I don't know if this brilliant greed shit actually works. But yeah, I gave him a brilliant authority, so I was like, I should probably tier 4 this guy. And I, and I like the new game mode enough that I maybe want to invest a couple tier 4s into it. But one, my alliance was like, nah, 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 go with Magneto. Two, it's a lot harder to make a video on Tier 4 Spider-Man. Because what am I going to do? I'm going to unequip his brilliant authority to show you guys PvE content where he's going to be, what, worse than Ant-Man? Mm, ain't nobody want to see that. And then I guess like, I guess I could show him in PvP. That would, that would really be the stitch. But I feel like Magneto's more interesting. Uh, those were really my only options, to be honest. Uh, no desire to Tier 4 Star-Lord doesn't impress me at all. Sharon, although impressive, I don't need a faster GBR clear. Like I already cleared GBR sub two minutes with with any any random team. Um, and then because I have Namor all stacked up, I don't really need Doctor Octopus. And Shadow Shell is only a minor upgrade over Black Widow. Right now, I'm going for value over characters that I like for the most part. There have been a few uh, missteps along the way, like Professor X and Ant Man. But otherwise, uh, I have I have been uh, tier fouring for function, but uh, but yeah, that's what leads us to Magneto. I was also thinking about doing a video. I know this intro is running a little long, but I was thinking about doing a video on my tier four wish list, and I started writing it down. I was like, oh man, of course Wolverine and Doctor Strange, and then of course like Mephisto, Gore, Null, Sentry. If any of those guys get tier four, I'm I'm, I'm jumping on that. But yeah, Quicksilver, Doctor Doom, Dormammu, Silver Surfer. And then I realized it's just like there's way many, way too many native tier twos and native tier threes that I want to get tier four. There's just there's way too many tier fours that I want to see. Like I want to see Shang Chi tier four, bro. I want to see you know, like there's a lot of tier fours I want to see. Blue Marvel, Ghost Rider, Hela, you know, Loki, Athena. I want to see all these cats tier four. So. Yeah, I don't really think a wishlist video would make much sense. But uh, hey, hit me up in the comments down below. Maybe, maybe you would like to see that. Who knows? Uh, anywho, we've already leveled up his skills. I did this a while back. You guys don't really need to see that anyways. The gear is really where they're going to get me or I'm going to get them. So let's just do a quick little inventory here. We have 10,530 Carbo and 8,128 Soul of the Faltine. Now, I know you're going to get on me about Soul of the Faltine being 2,000 less than the, the Carbo. I just forget to play GBR sometimes. 29. Wow, that's that's savage. Uh, 7 is really good. 33. Okay, yeah. True. 29 and 33 on the first gear. Well, yeah, I'm fucking done. Holy shit. I just spent almost 2K on one gear. 2K carbo on one gear. Yeah, that's really cool. Remember how remember how Thanos cost me like 5K when he should have cost me like 7? Yeah, they're getting, they're getting their 7. They're getting their pound of flesh here. 11. 27 wow eat my ass that's crazy this is what i was this is what i was worried about whenever i tier four characters like that i need to tier four rather than characters that i want to tier four uh i get i get shafted i get taken to the prison yard and beaten up for lunch money so 11 19 okay yeah that's that's not that was actually pretty good 
Um, I, I still need like a really low roll. Bro, we're going to spend half. We've already spent 5,000 carbo. Holy shit, bro. Oh, this is stupid as hell, bro. This is stupid as hell. Come on, just give me all single digits, man. I need all single digits on this bitch. 29 on the last one. Yeah, okay. This is like I this was this was I guess this was gonna happen sooner or later. I'm I'm triggered, but at the same time, like I knew it was gonna happen. Look at this. So we're gonna, ugh, bruh. So we started off with ten thousand five hundred, right? And thirty. All right. Let, let me press this button here before I, I smash my phone. Uh, yeah. The the variance in tier fours, man, it, it's brutal. I, hey, this is good content for people that want to see me suffer. This is this is top tier stuff here. But uh, the variance, the variance is pretty soul crushing, I, I have to say, uh, and that's like weeks, weeks if not months of farming just flushed just now, not flushed, but like you know, uh, used up unceremoniously, I should say. Uh, so if we go over here and we check out the tier four stuff, four thousand three hundred, that is so little. So I spent 6,200 carbonadium. I, I, I pretty much, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I spent more on Magneto than I did on, on Thanos. And I spent 5,000 uh, Soul of the Falteen. So again, just to put it into perspective for you, 5,000 Soul of the Falteen there divided by 150, which is the max you can get per day. But realistically, you're not going to play if there's only 10 left. So you do about 140 per day. That's 35, that's 36 days. So that was over a month's worth of farming just now over a month over a month five weeks five full weeks of grinding gbr every single day that hurts man that hurts a lot and i'm under 200 million as well which is pretty terrifying so uh so yeah it's not really gucci right now uh it's it's not really gucci but anyways we have uh we have the council's rule and we have the magneto pop in here his build is all right i'm not gonna lie it could be better uh we're not capped on crit damage somehow that's okay but let's go let's take him we do have a mighty rage we do have a five star artifact now also because i got the artifact i was like yeah i should probably tear for him uh and then we got the power of angry hawk so let's see how he does in a couple contents so what sucks is despite having five digit carbonadium now i can't even tier for another character because i got so wrecked on that one which is again pretty uh pretty cringe if you ask me pop the tier four yeah look at that damage though bro look at that damage just spam and he's gone nice i know it's only stage 54 but i want to see him like crush some shit before we go into the stuff that's a little bit harder uh magneto's also notoriously squishy so i'm, I'm not really looking forward to having him die uh but let's see if we can pop off here he's not he doesn't have a lot of burst damage that's that's one thing that uh you know for my taste I, I i do i do like me a little bit of burst damage you know characters i can just pop off for like five six bars unannounced you know just rolling through uh but yeah let's see what we do here let's roll over here let's pop the tier three let's pop all this very nice very nice absolutely gonna dodge the dragon phase because that shit is just horrendous this should be easy like this is supposed to be easy so no surprise here uh now hopefully we don't die here i'm curious okay he only took about half my hp not bad all right so a minute a minute a minute 08 not bad not bad let's let's push it a little bit harder real talk i'm generally scared that mephisto can kill magneto even at stage 59 i know it's a low stage but uh it's the reality so let's just go ahead and see. I mean, he might not last long enough to kill me, but he might. Who knows? Pop the tier four. Get that thing bussing. Get that thing bussing down. Okay, he's still alive, which is scaring me. Okay, there he goes. He's dead. Yeah. We'll pop the tier three. Like, Magneto is such a cool character, right? Him and, him and Professor X always been so sick. Love them both. I'm just, I'm just still uh i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm just still kind of triggered over that uh that crazy loss of materials and yo you see what i'm saying he's almost dead you see what i'm saying magneto does not have it defensively and that was honestly not really 
That was not really focused on enough, I feel like, when he first came out Tier 4. I feel like a lot of the ABX heads just knew he was good for ABX and ABL. So they're like, yeah, we don't need to talk about his survivability. Because you don't take any damage in ABX and ABL. Real talk, you don't. And if you do, you're probably trash. Like, if you're dying in ABX, ABL. Uh, let's be real, dog. You got bigger... Those, like, those are your problems. Not, not the character being built a certain way, right? Ah, uh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Let's see what else he's got. Let's let's go a little bit higher. All right, here we go. Here's the big one. Stage 60 of Gore. This should be pretty difficult considering uh, his his defense level. So we're going to have to use the um, the co-op skill judiciously to, to get through things here. We also have to wait for him to move. All right, let's pop it off. Let's see. Okay, damage seems good. Damage seems real good. Okay, I'm just a little bit worried about dying. All right. Okay, so we're in the next phase. Now, for those of you wondering, if you saw it right at the beginning, I'm using uh, Cyclops lead, not just Cyclops support. Now, you're thinking to yourself, hey, Alex, Magneto's lead is 50% all attack. Cyclops lead is only 45%. Why would you do that? Well, it's because the 5% is not worth it when you're giving up 30% all defense. So Cyclops' full lead is 45% all attack and 30% all defense, or 35% all defense, some shit like that. The 30 or 35% all defense is worth way more than 5% attack, in my opinion, especially at this high of a level when I'm trying to make sure that uh, Magneto survives because as is common knowledge, you cannot deal any damage when you are dead and uh yeah we know magneto has survivability issues and rather than have that you know become the focus of the video i do want to focus on his damage and how cool he looks and all this metal and shit flying around that's that's really where we want to pop off i mean i may have exaggerated his survivability issues but i am playing him very safe right i am i am playing him very safe um but let's see here Okay, his, you know what? His AoE is better than I remember, or better than I thought. AoE meaning the area of damage that he deals, even though I was saying, oh, I got to wait for Gore to jump back. I don't think I have to wait for Gore to jump back. I think he hits Gore. So the, I actually do like that because it's better. Uh, getting up really close to Gore can be really risky because of the shit that he does. So, and, and this sort of shotgunning effect that he has on certain abilities. Now, this part here is going to be interesting because this is where things kind of fall apart for a lot of characters. When he, when he summons all this shit, it just gets buck wild. And, uh, and yeah. So we're going to try some co-op shenanigans to deal some damage while we also... We got to be very careful, though. Yeah, we got to be very careful here. Pop the Tier 3. Now, you can sit in the iframe of the Tier 3 for a while. You can also sit in the iframe of um, 3 for a little while, which is nice. Because it gives you something to do without taking damage but yeah it gets it gets a little dicey here magneto's movement speed is pretty good but it's just it's just his survivability in the back of my mind that's not good but yeah look at that uh look at that uh aoe aoe's nice Ooh, and then the big pop there the big pop with the tier four so two minutes on seven, stage 60 is pretty good it's not bad um yeah it's tough it's tough to compare i still really like iron man's tier four and, and that's who I compare him to. I compare him to Iron Man and to, and to Professor X, right? As blast types, uh, because those are the other two that I have. Uh, I, I still really like Iron Man's tier four. They made him so good because his tier four gives him defense, right? It gives him that shield. Uh, so that shield, you, you can't really underestimate how good that shield is. Uh, and if you need, if you have like an oh shit moment where you're about to take damage and you pop the tier four, as long as it's available, of course. And then for Professor X, although he is similarly squishy, to magneto he does have the v-pad on the first skill so you can maneuver away more easily but i think that if you play magneto kind of smart especially with his aoe you can make it work now the best part about magneto i can't really showcase right now because it's it's a few days or it's almost a week basically until we get to uh blast villain or blast villain mutant but last but not least we can showcase some gbr all right here we go we got my Whoops, no one's here yet. <laughs> Was about to start my intro, but nobody's home. All right, team's still loading up. That's true, that's true. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, here we go. Got my boy Mattery and Naruto. Naruto, whatever the the whole cage. I really got washed for like more than six thousand carbo. Yep, I really, I really did. I really did get washed for like a bajillion carbo. That sucks, man. That definitely do be sucking. Uh, I think I want to wait for his fifth skill though. I know this is not the the full spam rotation that you were promised, but I don't think. Yeah, we don't have the juice to uh, to push him to the next phase either. And this is with type advantage, so doesn't really it doesn't really get much better than this, as far as I'm concerned. I never I never took Magneto as like a Giga God for uh, for GBR, but I could be wrong. Oh no, Naruto died. He can't be Whole Cage anymore. Ah oh, shit, man. Tragedy strikes. Okay. Pop off here. Pop off to an extent. I don't know. Are we popping off? I can't tell. Yeah, we're kind of popping off. That's pretty good. I'm going to start spamming. You can't stop me. Oh, shit. I got to move. I got to move. He can't stop me. I lied. I lied. He can't stop me. All right. We're spamming. We're spamming. We're back. We're back, boys. This is pretty good. Would I tier 4 him for this alone? No. Pop the tier 4. Screw your foul teen waves. Yeah. 16, 15. Yeah. Get it, son. 14. Let's go for mutant kind. For Obama lips. All right. <laughs> Starting to wake up this morning. Starting to wake up this morning. All right. Pop the tier 3. Let's go. Ramping. Ramping. I'm ramping, boys. Pop the tier four again. You love to see it. Come on, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Ah, we missed the two minute window. Sag. Should have done more spamming. Yeah, two minutes and change for a full carry. Full carry is 95 plus percent of the damage. That's pretty good. It could be better. It could be better. Yeah. All in all, I like him. I like his animations and shit, but I know in my in, like I know in, in reality I tier forward him for my alliance's sake and for higher scores, which is cool. Uh, I won't have to try so hard and I'll get a much better score. But uh yeah, it, it sucks when the ones that you're not that hype about are the ones that cost you the most. I mean, I, I, I can bump up his build a little bit here. I could give him some Odin's blessings and shit. But uh, I'll see. I'll see how he scores. He's got eighty, almost eighty-five thousand energy attack without any other investment, with only th two Odin's blessings. That's that's kind of nice. But yeah, you can see how competitive the ranking is. Uh, I'm only ranked sixteen hundred with a mighty CTP and a five-star artifact. So and that was that was rank five type enhancement for the Dormammu thing. So he, he's not going to get much faster. He's not going to get much faster. You know, I could give him a uh, you know more Odin's blessings and stuff, but he's not going to get that much faster. So yeah. And it's a and it's a good roll on the mighty too. It's the 200 roll of the enrage. It's not a 160 roll. Yeah. Shucks. Well, ABX and ABL. That's really where he shines. Let me know uh, what you thought of my uh, absolute cavernous destruction of my materials. That's why we got the MSF baby, so we can buy more tier four mats. <laughs> Hit me up in the comments down below. Oh man. Smash the like button. It helps out the channel tremendously, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.